Police say Juan Solis broke into Charlie Mitchell's on September 13th and tunneled his way into Israel Diamond Supply next door. He got into the ceiling, set off an alarm, and police caught him red-handed. He immediately became a suspect in the Tulsa firearms burglary. This morning, police recovered a gun from that burglary inside the ceiling of Israel Diamond Supply. There's no doubt in my mind they would have been used for violent crimes, robberies, or even uh, homicides. The TPD burglary unit has recovered at least 16 of the 27 guns that were stolen during a burglary at Tulsa Firearms over the Labor Day holiday weekend. They were pretty blatant about being guns being for sale. They, they weren't trying to be too secretive, so the word was out. These guns were recovered from a storage unit Monday night. The police say was rented by Marco Hackett. Police believe Tony Clyde was selling them on the streets. Police say one of the guns was found in the possession of Cadrian Daniels, a documented gang member and murder suspect. Clyde's boyfriend, Juan Solis, was arrested on September 13th when police found him in the ceiling that connects Charlie Mitchell's to Israel Diamond Supply. Police say he'd also broken into and started a car that was parked behind the building. And police believe he committed the burglary at Tulsa Firearms. We had our air conditioners worked on for our opening of Charlie Mitchell's. And they didn't lock that. So he climbed down in here. From inside Charlie Mitchell's, the intruder crawled into the ceiling at Israel Diamond Supply. And this is the two cameras that he dismantled and cut the wires completely off. Owner Adele Nasruddin rushed to his business after the alarm was tripped. He and an officer walked through the building, not knowing a suspect was watching them from the ceiling. It wasn't until the gun was recovered from that ceiling today that he learned the man was armed. When, when we heard somebody running on the roof, that's when more than likely he could have taken a shot on the cop or me or both of us at the same time. But he informed the, uh, the lead detective that he changed his mind. Think about this for one second. The precious life of a Tulsa police officer in the hand of a low life. While police have recovered a lot of these stolen guns, they want to find the rest of them before they're used to commit crimes. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS. Reporting in South Tulsa, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you.